Welcome to Salty Beaver Explorers. Today we're in Revelstoke and we're here at the Forestry Museum. And if you even come just to the parking lot, there is machinery and stuff around outside as well. of tree called the Engelman spruce and it was 478 years old and you can see by the rings 1532 hard to imagine and cut down I think in 2010 different kinds of trees. Chainsaws. That one's from 1959. I don't know why that one is looking awfully old though. Oh, is there more? I was looking at some others already. Chainsaws. Oh goodness, this one's a Sears chainsaw. Wow, that's quite something to see all these old saws, especially living in BC where they're used so commonly when you're out in the bush. Cross-cut saws. Yeah. Two more old chainsaws. Oh, that's quite impressive. Yeah, just... That's a big one. Eh? See that? The other guy. Oh, it says one. that the original chainsaw was probably made around 1830. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, there's even more chainsaws here. This is definitely quite an impressive collection. There's one that needs two hands. And it is very long. And Grandpa has one of these. It's a lot of tools used in the lumber trade. And old firefighting equipment.
exhibit about the First Nations and forestry. And a depiction of a kakuli, which was where the First Nations used to live, how their houses were built. So that's really quite interesting. A little model. And a traditional basket. Let's go take a look outside now. Forest fire lookout tower. Oh, I think we can maybe go in. So, in previous videos, we brought you up to some current lookout towers. And here's what one would have been set up like way back when. Ooh, it's hot in here. Today, so probably not sitting there. And here is Kali, the Columbia River tugboat. It's actually really cute. It's very tiny. But obviously used at one point, a working piece of machinery. So a guy looks like he's seen some better days. Wow. It says that's a 1940 G535 Mac NM covered arch truck. Here is the back of the museum. And then we've got a viewpoint here. So let's have a look at that. So the museum is actually located just by the Revelstoke Dam. And this is the viewpoint that you have from the back of the museum. Let's go have a look at it. says this is the old arrowhead school bell 
and that we are allowed to ring it for a beautiful sound. So let's give it a try. I don't want to do it too loud. Oh, I'm not sure it's too much of a beautiful sound right now. And it says that this is an old 1940s winch with a Chrysler Industrial T120 gasoline engine. Thanks for joining us on our quick tour of the BC Forestry Museum here in Revelstoke. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get more Canadian content from our channel.